to La Fair Interiors, the new show on Spin TV. I'm Geeta Hari here in conversation with Mr. Anurag Bhatnagar, Area General Manager of Starwood Resorts and Hotels and General Manager of the Western Mumbai Garden City. Welcome, sir. Interior designs are created for restaurants, keeping in mind the target audience. So what was the brief given to you by to the architects when you were considering the uh, construction of these restaurants in the Mumbai, uh, West in Mumbai Garden City. You know, when we were launching this product and we wanted to bring a lifestyle, stylish, urbane, modern, contemporary product to Goregaon, we realized that we are in the heart of the new shifting CBD, plus very close to heavy residential pockets. And we wanted to bring this kind of upper upscale, five star living to the residents around us. And hence, we wanted our product to be young, contemporary, wellness oriented and have all the trappings, you know, what next gen, you know, guests would like or stylization of rooms. So these were the concepts and the brief given. And you know, Western as a brand, we stand for wellness. So when we decided to have this brand wellness and in, in you know, we are, we are very fortunate to have a, a great partnership with our owners, uh, Override Reality, who are the owners of this property, who, uh, who are very uh, forward looking in their thought process. So we were able to bring the brand Westin. Uh, to Mumbai, the first Westin coming to uh, Mumbai and amongst the cluster of five Westins opening in India. So we wanted to bring up a product which was like wellness oriented, had something for everyone and yet something that people could connect with easily. That was the brief given to the designer and the art. And then again I would uh, you know comment on the vision of our uh, ownership that they saw it earlier. And you know when this hotel was conceived but I think in the last couple of years whether we look at our statistics or occupancy or our positioning or the kind of business that we are attracting and catering to, the decision was really a very good, well thought of decision. And uh, we, but obviously used a lot of data, we did market research, uh, we partner with uh, the bona fide agencies who tell us before we decide to start a business in a certain area. So all the right ticks were there. With regards to the location, how viable was it to have a fine dine Italian restaurant, Prego? in Goregaon. We have Prego, which is a fun dining Italian. Then we have Kangan, which is a contemporary modern Indian. And then we have the seasonal taste, which is our all day dining and you know, very kind of a, a family restaurant where we have everything for everyone. And then we have the seasonal taste, which is our all day dining and you know, very kind of a, a family restaurant where we have everything for everyone. And then we have 18 lounge, which is our upmarket, plush and um, interactive bar lounge. My name is uh, Sudhir Pitke. I am Chef de Cuisine of Seasonal Test. This is an all-day dining restaurant and the best part of this restaurant is variety of food. We are getting all types of guests like all international guests. We have a lot of Asian guests in-house. So, you know, Asian food, Japanese food and Thai food is uh, doing very well. The El Fresco is a big wow because people can, I mean, it's more informal, it's casual, it's El Fresco kind of concept where the cuisine is the same. We serve Prego cuisine because Prego as overall is all about fun dining. It's fun Italian dining. I'm Rahul Dhavle. I'm the executive chef at Western Mumbai Garden City and we are here this evening at Prego which is our specialty uh, Italian restaurant. Prego is actually modern, fun dining restaurant. It's about an open kitchen uh, where we use some state-of-the-art equipment and uh, we even do our homemade gelatos. So everything put together is, you know, makes for a great fun eating out experience. The overall landscaping of uh, you know, the artifacts in Prego are all rust and gold and the kind of colors that we use, the kind of service concepts that we have and the flair of the service that we train our associates on. It's all about having fun when you're dining. It's not about sitting in a restaurant, ordering your meal and getting it over with. It's about intimate conversations, uh, enjoying the moment. So El Fresco really complements our Prego. With regards to the location, how viable was it to have a fine dine Italian restaurant, Prego, in Gorega? Look at the view around you. I mean, this is, you know, you can, this is the new, I would say, the golden necklace or uh, queen's necklace of, I would say, North Mumbai. 
I mean, you can see all the way to halfway to Kadivili in this side, and probably almost halfway towards the new terminal here. And then I get crawling traffic lights. Yeah, I mean, this this thing, you know, you know, I know most people don't. I never want to be there, but then I enjoy the view from here. Yeah, I wish more Mumbaiers could can say that. I mean, they enjoy this crawling traffic. Yeah, well. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think on 18th floor, other than uh, this level, I mean, other than the, obviously the exquisite cuisine that we serve. This is a very nice view. Most of our seating arrangement, architecturally, we have ensured that we have uh, from floor to ceiling open spaces, wherein you have glass windows where you can see throughout 24, 24 by 7. So whether it's the daylight, you have some natural sunlight coming in, whether it's in the evening. So it, as a design feature, you have a fantastic panoramic view of the highway on one side, the RA green mills on the other side. So this is what you see when you're sitting at a height of 150 square feet, 150 feet from the ground. Mr. Bhatnagar, what would you say is the USP of all the F&B outlets in your property? Well, each restaurant has its own USP, each venue has its own USP. Kangan, I think what we have taken, we have taken the cuisine modern Indian because we realize that uh, as an Indian, we love our food, but we are also getting more and more conscious of how we eat it and basically more and more health conscious and West in again being a wellness brand. We have tried to integrate our superfoods and wellness element into every aspect of our cuisine whilst keeping it relevant, traditional and not di diverging too much from the original authenticity. So Kangan is all about modern Indian food. You will have your all-time favourites, yet Chef Shamsher, who's our chef de cuisine or a master chef for Kangan, you'll find his signature kebabs. He's from Lucknow himself. He belongs to the royal family of Havad. So he, we have his signature kebabs and the kind of rotis and the breads that he makes. So you'll find that Kangan and there's a lot of, uh, lot of customers who and guests come in, both Indians and foreigners. And you know, Indians are difficult to please when it comes to Indian food. So Kangan has really done very well for us and growing, ever growing. Seasonal taste, our buffets and our live cooking and our studio cooking, they are the talk of the town. We have been voted as one of the finest all-day dining restaurants in Mumbai. Seasonal taste, whether on all popular websites and online channels, has been rated as one of the most popular and go-to kind of coffee shop in the city. And that's because we try to keep it vibrant, we want to keep it eclectic, we want to keep it different. So whether it's breakfast, lunch or dinner, the buffets change, the cuisine elements change, the fun element comes in, the interaction element comes in. All the cooking is done live. So it's like every item on the menu is being cooked in front of you whilst we have a buffet as well. So you can see what's you what's you're serving. So we are. Yes, you also have a light counter at the Prego. And we Prego, of course, is our flagship and our, our you know our kind of a branded venue, if I may use the word. Prego is a fun dining, as I said earlier. And you know the whole concept of Prego is based on the fact that dining out should be fun. It should be entertainment. Get entertained when you're eating. Have meaningful conversation. So whether it's the light, the sound, the music, the special effects, or the even the service, we don't go overboard like some other fun dining restaurants because we still understand that we are working in a high-end, upper upscale hotel. So we don't want, but yet, we want to be friendly without getting too familiar with our guests. And the element of service comes across wherein, as a friend of Prego, uh, you know, the bartender or the sommelier or the person or the chef who comes out and talks to you, they kind of interact with you and suggest, how do you take the best of Prego back with you? How do you see the future of hospitality in terms of economy, tourism and other factors? I think our industry is one of the oldest industries in the world in the business. And it's a cyclical business, no doubt, and we have seen our ups and downs. I mean, uh, we have seen some cycles where we really were hit hard and hit bad, but we bounced back as an industry very well. I believe the future is good, if not great, in the short term. But in the long term, I believe uh, we are only going to go from strength to strength. Well, Starwood well is uh, one of the largest uh, lifestyle urban global operator and you know, uh, we are the largest company which owns all these upper upscale and luxury brands in the world. And in India, I think Starwood, uh, we had a very strong and early relationship and uh, with some established Indian partners. And now uh, we have a, a complete regional office which is based out of India which supports our owners and our partners to set up new brands. Uh, new and new, all our brands are either coming into India or have signed up and are in the pipeline. So, I mean, our target internally is to reach 100 hotels which are either built, operating or signed up uh, by 2016. What has been your work philosophy or mantra 
over the year. I think we we are in a extremely people centric business. And when I say people, it's like you know, I mean, I know it's a very cliched statement that we are ladies and gentlemen serving ladies and gentlemen. But I think it's our associates who bring our brands to life. It's our staff and associates who bring the brand promise. You may have a very high end brand, but it's the associates who bring the brand experience to our guests. So the emotional connect with your associates, with your staff, has to be very strong. We need to energize them. We need to motivate them. We need to count constantly coach them. We probably need to counsel them at times, uh, or most of the times these days. But you know, but we need to get them completely energized into the organization philosophy. And I think Starwood as an organization, we really care for our associates. We care for our guests. We care for our business, and we reward and recognize their performance. And to me. That's been my philosophy, which I really sink very well in, and uh, that's to me is one of the formulas for sustainable success in this business because we are in people's business. Our job is to create experiences, and our and our staff does it for us. Our associates do it for us. Uh, Mr. Bhatnagar, could you tell us a little about the evolution of general manager in recent times? Well, I think today's GM has to be uh, has evolved in a big way. I mean, there were days earlier, and I can say fortunately for me, I. Uh, have lived through many such eras, and I have worked some with some very strong and senior general managers when I was growing up uh, in my career. And uh, I think uh, GMs still have to retain the core hospitality DNA. We still have to remember that uh, we we have to strengthen our base. We are in the people's business. Our job is to create experiences, to bring our brands to life, and we have to be very strong. Whether it's food and beverage, or housekeeping, or conditions, or cleanliness. Or guest experience, and you know, wow elements of surprise and delight, interacting, meeting, meeting our customers, getting to know them, that is essential to our business. But having said that, I think today's GM has to be a CFO, a CEO, a chief compliance officer, multitasking, multitasking <laughs> and a marketing, a very savvy social media, digital marketing. So, you know, I think today's GM has to learn new tricks, to be kind of agile. To be relevant to, to today's change, because see, our customers have changed. Mm -hmm. The kind of guests that we were catering to, let's say, 20 years back, today our guests are next gen. I mean, you need you need to give three wi free Wi-Fi in your rooms. You need to have three devices which need Wi-Fi. They're tech savvy. They're tech savvy. I mean, social media has become such a critical thing. I mean, they tweet instantly. I mean, they, I mean, uh, you know, uh, Facebook has become such an important part of our life today. So today's GM has to evolve. To not just being a very strong innkeeper, but an equally competent head of business unit, like a CEO, and a very strong people philosophy. Because today there are options for our, you know, associates. The hospitality industry is probably one of the biggest providers to other service industries. So we have to keep that in mind as well. Well, I think it's a great initiative, and I think what they are trying to do, uh, I think through the medium of this channel, they are trying to bring uh, real estate. Uh, making it fun, making it interactive. They're bringing lifestyle to the lifestyle living to real estate by using five-star hotels as a base, and I think uh, uh, it gives you several options and choices. And I wish them all the best.